Hello everyone. We're all somehow influenced by popular culture, which often backs up certain misconceptions in society. Take the most famous places in the world, for example. Judging by movies, Paris is the city of love and croissants. London is always foggy and everyone always wears coats. And in Rio de Janeiro, it's always carnival and everyone plays football like Neymar. Of course, this is far from the truth. Another interesting case is Dubai. It's a place full of diamonds, golds and shakes with wild felines at home. What, that's not true? Well, not really. Today, we're going to tell you the truth about this place. Let's get it on. But first, let's clarify something. Dubai is not a country, as some mistakenly believe. In fact, it's the largest city in the United Arab Emirates. And it's not even the capital, as some people erroneously think. The capital of the UAE is Abu Dhabi, but this city is less famous abroad, partly because it's less popular among tourists. The United Arab Emirates is a rather rich country that ranks seventh in the world in terms of GDP per capita. However, it was not always as thriving as today. Until the late 19th century, the country was under British protectorate. Therefore, when the first oil reserves were discovered here in the Persian Gulf, they were exploited by the British. After the United Arab Emirates became an independent state in the 1970s, the oil market experienced a sharp price increase. Largely because of this, the country quickly became one of the richest in the world, which spurred a rapid development of industry, tourism, and agriculture. And now we're going to tell you some truths and some myths about Dubai. Wild Animals this stereotype about Dubai didn't arise out of the blue. For a long time, buying cheetahs and lions as pets was kind of normal there. But only for a very small part of the population, more precisely the richest sheikhs, who wanted to show off their status. They used to drive around Dubai with their favorite cat in the passenger seat. Fortunately, a couple of years ago, keeping wild cats as pets was banned. It's now considered a violation of the law. Therefore, if you walk around with a cheetah or a lion, you will face six months in prison and a fine of up to $138,000. As for the common people, most of them have regular cats at home, since they are not dog fans. Ecology Due to the fact that the city was built in the desert, pictures of Dubai look like shots from a fantastic film, and you might even think that everything's fine with the environment here, which is far from being true. On the contrary, due to the large number of buildings, the lack of natural water sources, the poor garbage disposal system, and the lack of sewage, Dubai is a hell for any eco-activist. With its multitude of cars as well, Dubai is one of the dirtiest cities in the Middle East. According to experts, the reason for this is the fact that for many years, the developers put money first instead of taking care of the environment. As for the local water, it can only be made drinkable using a desalination system that removes the dissolved salts. In one day, the United Arab Emirates desalinates about 4 billion bottles of water. Water desalination plants in turn produce large amounts of carbon dioxide. This substance is dangerous because it absorbs infrared radiation and is one of the greenhouse gases that causes it's global warming. Another problem is energy. Unfortunately, the use of alternative or green energy sources, such as solar or wind energy, is virtually absent here. In Dubai and the United Arab Emirates in general, they use coal as well as nuclear energy. The latter, by the way, has become increasingly popular in the Middle East region in recent years, from Saudi Arabia to Egypt. Unfortunately, it is not renewable either, and its residues are difficult to dispose of. As if that were not enough, there's also a sewer problem. In Dubai, millions of people live without sewerage, using basic structures such as pit toilets. As a result, cars with sewerage waste line up for several kilometers and sometimes spend several days on the road. Doesn't sound very good, does it? Luxury cars 
Since Dubai is a famously rich city, many people imagine executives driving exclusively Lamborghinis and Bentleys. In a way, this is true, but not for all government employees. For example, the police often use BMWs, Audis, or even Toyotas. By the way, there is a very interesting situation with supercars in Dubai. There are many places where you can see luxurious Ferraris, Porsches, and other high-end cars. The only problem is that they often don't belong to anyone. These luxury cars are abandoned in the streets of the city under a layer of dust. And this can easily be explained by a phenomenon that occurred in the United Arab Emirates about a year ago, the massive departure of expats from the country. This is because in recent years, oil prices have plunged, and many entrepreneurs who made a fortune suddenly went bankrupt. But why don't they take their car with them or sell it to someone? Well, it's not that simple. The United Arab Emirates lives under Sharia law, where debt default is considered considered one of the most serious criminal offenses. That's why car owners leave their cars in the street with the key inside, and nobody steals them, because even criminals don't need that kind of trouble. Population did you think that Dubai is inhabited exclusively by local Arabs and that they're all incredibly wealthy? Well, we'll talk about the latter right after. But in the meantime, let's talk about the average population. In fact, 85% of people in the city, which has more than 3 million inhabitants, are from other countries. The majority, more than 25% of all Dubai residents, come from India. Migrants from the neighboring countries of Pakistan and Bangladesh rank second. They generally work in construction sites and factories that are abound in Dubai, and the local population makes up only 20%. This is not only the case in Dubai, it applies to the whole country, where only 10% of the population are locals, despite the fact that almost 10 million people live in the country. Expats often don't even know Arabic either. However, according to the people working in the United Arab Emirates, they don't actually need it. A basic knowledge of English is enough. The legislation for the employment of foreigners here is transparent and quite simple although it won't give you citizenship. Billionaires Perhaps the most common myth about Dubai is that it's full of billionaires. Well, judge for yourself. It's believed that around 5,000 billionaires live all over the world. At the same time, only 30 billionaires live in Dubai. That is, less than 1% of the global population. It's not very impressive, is it? But which cities are really home to the largest number of billionaires? In first place is New York. In 2019, 105 billionaires lived there, and 705 in all of the United States. Then comes Hong Kong with 87 of them, and all over China, 285. In short, Dubai ranks 8th on this list, and the United Arab Emirates ranks 10th. Poverty you're probably thinking that even though there aren't that many billionaires, there's definitely no poverty here, and you would also be mistaken. How can we talk about wealth in a city where 85% of the population are migrants, many of whom work on construction sites? Naturally, most of them live hand to mouth, and that's at best. What's worse, living in Dubai is quite expensive. For example, the simplest cell phone plan will cost you at least $30, and the average salary of a simple worker in this city is about $250 to $300. How about spending 10% of your monthly salary on mobile communication? In addition, you need to buy food and clothes, raise your children and pay the bills, including rent. That's why apartments in Dubai are usually overcrowded and occupied by five or more people. A small advantage is that for foreigners, there are no taxes here. In other words, you don't have to hand over a part of your salary to the government every month. The UAE authorities have introduced this system to motivate specialists from other countries to come here to work. After all, not long ago, Dubai was a desert-like place with oil reserves, and not many people were willing to move here. Nice weather when you look at the photos of Dubai's luxurious skyscrapers surrounded by palm trees, it feels like a sunny paradise. But is it? Don't forget that this city was built in the middle of a desert, which means that you probably won't like this weather, unless you really love heat and want to spend all your time in a sauna. Just picture this. During the hot months, that is at least six months straight, the temperature rises to 50 degrees Celsius, caused by the scorching sun, which becomes unbearable 
combined with the high humidity. By the way, the sky here is usually grey, despite the sunlight, all because of the huge amount of dust that rises into the air from construction sites and factories. Skyscrapers well, we're coming to the end of our video, and now you know that Dubai is a city of contrasts. For example, there are many high-rise buildings here, 108 skyscrapers over 180 meters tall. The tallest building in Dubai is the 210-story Burj Khalifa, with a total height of 828 meters. However, these majestic buildings coexist with low villas, apartment complexes, and single-story houses. Lower houses are preferred by ordinary residents, who simply have no money for other options, as well as by wealthy Arabs. They like the fact that in small private villas, there are usually no neighbors. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.